Plus of Kirill Razumovsky, the last hetman of uh, the Parisian army until 1764. The palace was built in 1799-1803. It's located on the high terrace of the same river. Uh, the video was made in January in low season, so the amount of tourists is minimum. Uh, there is uh, a park uh, <laughs> near small park, but the park is very young uh, near the palace uh, because the palace and uh, the park itself was opened after a reconstruction only in 2009. And until this time, uh, the palace itself was in absolute disaster. Uh, in uh, 1824, uh, uh, the interior of the palace was burnt down, absolutely burnt down. So, in the first hall, uh, you can see uh, the uh, facade, facade of this. Uh, palace until reconstruction so we see that uh, it was in uh, it was not palace it was ruins and it was in absolutely disaster also near palace there was a very big linden park for example 1907 we see the park yeah but next photo uh, 1930 not any uh, wood, <laughs> sorry, no any trees, no any park. It means that during the uh, First World War, uh, local people they uh, cut down all the trees uh, to fire them. Yeah. Next photos uh, we see the process of reconstruction. Uh, it was made by the uh, uh, during the reign of President Viktor Yushchenko. Uh, next hall we see the figure of uh, Kirill Razumovsky himself, yeah, here is, copy. <laughs> uh, this is the symbol of hetmanship, yeah, of course, replica. <laughs> and uh, there is on the screen, there are some short information, also there is in English, it's good. For example, uh, it's uh, the sword. Of Hetman, uh, this is uh, his personal stamp and some picture from book with the inscription of palace and finally uh, the church, uh, resurrection church, where the Hetman was buried and uh, it's his tombstone. Yeah, some pictures of his relatives. It's uh, his mother and uh, it's uh, his his brother. Yeah, and further some uh, photos of uh, his uh, descendants. <laughs> I mean, uh, people who used to uh, live here or the nearby area before a revolution in uh, Russian Empire. But when Soviet communists came into power, of course, most of them immigrated to Europe and only Ukraine uh, began an independent country. They returned back to the land of their ancestors. <laughs> so we saw some photos of these persons. So, uh, of course, uh, furniture, pictures, uh, all of the things are not original ones, because as I said, uh, the uh, palace itself was born down in 19. Uh, 26 and since that time uh, some uh, descendants of Kirill Razumovsky tried to rebuild, to reconstruct uh, this building, this palace, they did it partially but not successfully and finally uh, the palace came into absolutely disaster. Also, uh, not so many uh, different drawings of pictures uh, had survived uh, and uh, we can say that uh, people can imagine only uh, how the palace looked like uh, at that time. So, uh, the palace itself is decorated only uh, in the style which was uh, the common at the end of 18 begin of uh, sorry as the eight of uh, 18 begin of 19th century but generally it could, it it can give us uh, 
some uh, general imagination about this really wonderful place. And every hall, as we see, is decorated is in its own style. Here are, for, for example, here are some coat of arms of different Cossacks uh, army. So if you are uh, somehow are going to be in that area, so you are welcome to Palace of Kirill Razumovsky. I think uh, more detailed information about this person, about this place, you can find in the internet or in Wikipedia.